Well, school is almost over and the beach is calling for a lot of people. The beach is calling every day of the year. Everything at Port Aransas is up and running once again after Hurricane Harvey about a, well, almost two years ago now. And the town has some new and exciting summer attractions for, of course, the entire family. And here to tell us all about it is Jeffrey Hens, who is president and CEO of the Port Aransas Tourism Bureau. Good afternoon, sir. You had to drag yourself away from the beach today, I huh? Had to, it was tough. It okay. was tough, but coming to San Antonio is always a bonus. Well, yes, always. and what's new down the Port Ranzas? A lot of new stuff. First of all, as you said, we're fully open, recovered 100% from Harvey, and we can't thank more than uh, what everything San Antonio has done for us and the people of San Antonio volunteering over 10,000 hours to help us recover. But we're back open for fun, we call it, and everything new, everything that was Damage is now repaired and brand new, and we've got a lot of new developments. We've got three big resorts that are coming out of the ground. We've got Cinnamon Shore that's developing their Cinnamon Shore South project. Sunflower Beach is coming out of the ground with their new project, and Palmia is also expanding their resort project. Which means you have a lot of rooms available. Because I know sure right are. after the hurricane, it was kind of tough to find a room down there sometimes. We were trying to find rooms for AEP to get our power turned back on. So we're back up. We've got over 4,000, almost 5,000 rooms that are coming back online. A good majority of them are coming online now. So we're going to be fully open for the summer, taking reservations. We're going to be able to get everybody in the Port A to enjoy a great week-long vacation. And, there, well, okay, bring that up. Because exactly. usually, you know, we're going down there. Maybe, you know, it's great. It's close because you can drive down early in the morning, stay for the day, come back in the evening, maybe a couple of nights. But whole week right. down there? You know, uh, Years ago, the average stay was about two and a half days, but more and more people are discovering there's so much to see and do between the fishing, all the beach and water sports, the nature. The average stay now is pushing seven days, and that's what we want wow. folks is to come to seven days just because of the restaurants. You, you, you want to eat at all the restaurants, and you have to come back about ten times to eat at all of our amazing restaurants, but there's so much to do, and seven days is now becoming the norm. And that's not, when you talk about food, because, you know, there's the, the great family spots, uh, you know, yeah. the, the pizzeria, of course, we always have to hit, but then there's also some really good gourmet stuff down there, too. Some right. fantastic gourmets. We've got all mom and pop owned restaurants, which is so popular because folks don't want to eat at the same restaurant where they where they live. So they want to come and find something new and exciting, especially if it's mom and pop owned. And that's kind of our mantra. That's what Porte is all about. We've become a big foodie destination. Uh, we're the sanctioned destination for World Food Championships, and our famous event is called Texas Super Chef Series, and that is a series of throwdown events like food fight clubs where chefs from all around Texas come and compete. And the reason we got that designation is because of the fact we're such a big foodie destination. Is that going to be over the course of the summer? It'll be it? actually held in September, okay. and then we also take it on the road. But our goal next year is to have two big Super Chef events in Porte. This year, it'll be September 18th through 21st. And you said something unusual with a lot of restaurants. What, about a dozen of them? Cook and catch? Or catch and cook? Catch and cook. Catch and cook. Catch and cook. Catch and cook. You uh, go out and you catch yourself a snapper or a grouper, and you bring it in to one of our 12 famous cook and catch restaurants and you can have it cooked up for you and prepared and enjoy what you caught. Okay, and then just take a nice long walk along the beach. That's just, right. Especially when the sun is just coming up. That's which right. Is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous sunrise. Okay, well, of course, Port Aransas is back up and running for your next summer vacation. Go down there for a week, for a weekend, whatever the case may be. New and exciting attractions for everyone's summer fun. You can catch, you can find more information at visitportaransas.com or follow them on Facebook, and it's Beach Nation at Port Aransas Tourism Bureau, and on Twitter at Port A Texas. Jeffrey, thank you very much, thank sir. Thank you so much for having okay. us.